your contribution. May I interest yes. for a moment? You're mentioning that um, the president's remarks about the Yemen mission and how different those were from that moment that uh, Hugh was describing tonight with um, the Navy SEAL's widow who was there, that very yeah, emotional I moment. Think that's Look, I just want to, and Hugh was saying, I didn't listen to the president that way when he listened. I, I actually have that quote here. What? What Trump said when he was asked about that mission was, I'm quoting this verbatim, quote, this was a mission that was started before I got here. This was something that was, you know, just they wanted to do. He then said, uh, my generals are the most respected that we've had in many decades, and I believe, I believe, and they lost Ryan. When the president talked about that mission in Yemen, he said, they're basically saying the problems here were their problems. This wasn't me. I didn't make this decision. And so to put on him that he's somehow taken responsibility for the death that occurred on that mission that he did order, that it is his responsibility for because he is commander in chief, it's not at all supported by what the president said, to, said in that interview. Uh, and that may have been a transcendent moment in that speech, but it is light years away from him trying to say, oh, this was the general's. It wasn't me. This is Obama's fault, which is how he has dealt with that death thus far in that you know, I really, This really offends me the fact that he, he said that and I agree with you completely because war is guys shooting at each other trying to kill each other yeah. you go into battle any firefight anything can happen and casualties are part of war the Europeans do that well before we knew it war means casualties and to, and to dick around about this thing and for president of the United States saying it wasn't my job it hit the buck does stop there and it is the commander-in-chief and I'll go back to the to the Bay of Pigs, Kennedy said it was me. I was the officer in, t in charge. You have to say that. You've got to write the letter. You can't write the letter to the widow and say it wasn't me. You got to right. say I'm the leader and I take the hit. And by the way, casualties come with war. And it shouldn't be something, well, let's find out what went wrong here. Of course you have after action reports. But to dwell on this, these are difficult, dangerous missions. People get killed. And the idea that the president has to argue with somebody about whose fault it is, is below the office. You've got to change they lost Ryan to we lost Ryan. Right. Nicole and Wallace and then back to Hugh Hewitt. Well, and we also have two um, different accounts now. I mean, he quoted General Mattis in his address to Congress tonight, but that is a different um, fact yep. than what John McCain believes exactly. of this mission. So and what NBC we, News reported and, last and night. All of our reporting uh, it does not uh, line up with what Donald Trump quoted his Secretary of Defense, a very well respected general. Now, so I think he opened up the issue. It was already open. I think everyone's investigating the mission, and the fathers asked for um, the fallen uh, servicemen's fathers asked for an investigation. But he he presented something that is not in in the current fact pattern. As what he said was, I just spoke to General Mattis, who reconfirmed the anti quote Ryan was part of a highly successful raid that generated large amounts of vital intelligence was that will successful. lead to many. More victories in the future against our so there, Yes, right. And so people who should know say that's not true. And so they're all. I would agree with you, Hewitt, on 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 one point, which is I think um, that moment in the speech will penetrate people's consciousness right. a lot more than the sort of back and forth about the mission and whether it was worthwhile and what happened. Um, so I, I do believe that will be a sure, lasting moment for some people. You know why? Because the one pure uh, communication Jeff, Jeff, tonight. Folks, just a minute, I, you. Just a minute. I, the one poor, pure communication I, tonight was that woman, Karen Owens, talking to her husband in heaven. You could see it. She was talking to him yep. again and again when she said, this is an applause time. This is a chance. I've got to talk to my husband right now. This was pure love communication. And there's not a guy in the world that doesn't have a, want to have a spouse like that. She is a lover of her lost husband. That is real. The rest of this is politics. Uh, Hugh That's Hewitt. real. Uh, I, uh, Chris, I agree with that 100%. That was so moving. What I have to respectfully disagree, when the president said they lost Ryan, here's what I heard. The SEALs didn't bring back one of their own. They lost Ryan. They had to, they took it casually. They being our brave men and women in the military, not I'm blaming my generals. And so this really goes to really, how do you posture yourself listening to the commander in chief? I'm sitting down with W on Thursday to talk about his book about the wounded warriors that he's been painting. They don't think about them and they, not, not any president I've ever met. So I, I, I would leave it to work Denver or some other SEAL who is out there, former SEAL to come up and speak to that. But when he said they, 
they lost Ryan. I don't think he was attributing blame to the generals. I was thinking Hugh, his about his was, comrades. This was a mission that was started before I got here. This was, they just wanted to do it. My generals are the most respected, I believe, and they lost Ryan. I mean, he was asked about his reaction to this loss in this raid and to the grief of this SEAL's father, who has spoken publicly about the fact that he didn't want to meet the president on that tarmac at Dover. And he responded an by saying, this was started before I got here, as in, this wasn't yeah, we, we me. just have to disagree, Rachel. That's what he, he said. said I'm not are the best, doing psychoanalysis. I, I know. I no, but, but it's not. It's, it's interpretation. My generals mean, my generals reviewed it and approved it. They're the best in the business. I have confidence in, in General Mattis and in Joe Dunford. They lost Ryan means the SEALs on the ground lost Ryan. So you might want to attribute to him the attempt to distance, but that's not what he's done. I read the story about the father. He's a grieving father. Gold Star fathers get to say whatever they want. I just admire Mrs. Owens for coming tonight, and I admire the president for asking her and saying to her, we appreciate the sacrifice, and to every member of the military out there, we know you're out there tonight, and this administration is going to be with you. We're going to give you what you need, and my generals will follow up on it. So I just, I heard it completely differently, and that's the divide in the country. People hear things differently, but when he said, they lost Ryan, I think that was a recognition that a band of brave warriors, the best that we've got, lost one of their own. And it's not something civilians can say, we lost, because we on the line the way they do. Hugh, I, I hear you, and I, we all hear the point that you're making about the speech tonight, but in terms of what the president said about this raid, so far his comment about it is, this wasn't me, this wasn't on me. And that, you can't get around from that by, by rounding up the emotional value of what you heard him say, not if we actually have quotations from him. He's president now. Um, we disagree. As adults say in these matters, reasonable people